my cosplayers. Um, I know I haven't been active on YouTube that much. No, I take that back. I take that back. I lie. Um, I lie. I lie. I've been on my business channel on my beauty bath. I've been active quite recently. I do get active on here on my phone, but mostly that's just to watch a couple of videos to pass the time. I am sorry about that, guys. But um, right now, MegaCon, I got going on. I'm making all my final products. The only thing I'm having problem with is my bath bombs, as usual, because every freaking time I go to make bath bombs for MegaCon, it freaking rains. And unfortunately... My recipes where it hardens in about four hours, that's the quickest I could do. Unfortunately, sometimes the rain beats that clock and it they go off or they get what I call like pockmarked where they just kind of swell up a little bit. They don't go fizzing, but they do have like bumps, I guess, all over it is what I'm kind of describing and, and it's just... It doesn't set off, but it's not very pretty, and I don't want to sell them. They work fine. I throw them in my bathtub, and my dad kind of steals a few from me, and my friends steal a few from me. So, yeah, because literally I cannot just put out the mold and wrap it because it is still too soft. It will keep, like, an indention in it from the bag. If it goes too far on one side, you'll have, like, one side different than the other. But I don't know why. It keeps every year. Like last year, I lost like six batches of bath bombs. Like I literally had fizzing things all over my kitchen, my dining room, my um, utility room, wherever they were stored. I even had some in the living room. And I was like so mad because that was a lot of time, work, and like gone. I was aggravated with that and I don't know why it, during the summer it didn't rain a lot in May didn't rain a lot in June we get to July and all of a sudden it's been non-stop raining and like it's aggravating me so I'm going to try to salvage what I can so, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Once again, bath bombs won't be in the picture. I actually tried earlier this month to do some bath bombs. I quickly put them in my totes that I normally carry everything. And then I put um, a couple of boxes of thing, uh, these things that we sell around and it around lows and it's supposed to suck up all of the moisture in it and so that way you know keeps things you know from getting wet and moist I've tried that but unfortunately it like literally sucked all the moisture out of my bath bombs and when I went to go check on them like three days later they were like literally just crumbled dust so I'm like I can't win or lose it with this I just can't even with putting a humidifier, a dehumidifier in the front room, it still did no good. I still have lost bath bombs. And I'm like, ugh, I'm so depressed about it. I'm not going to lie. Because bath bombs are a good seller. I do, like, when I bring them around here to sell them, they, they go like that. And, of course, I do have different sizes. And my small, medium, and large. And... I have said this like on my Facebook page for my business and probably on my Instagram that I will have to do a video to literally show the sizes because apparently doing comparison shots they and especially to objects they still don't get the sizes of it. Even when I tell them the large is like a freaking softball size and it's like huge. So um. I will be doing that so if you're interested you know go and like my business channel and you'll be able to be notified when it comes up because I will have to do that soon hopefully if they stop going off before I lose whatever little sanity I have so hopefully that will be soon 
I really want to film, but unfortunately, I live in an apartment, so therefore, it's kind of like no space to really set up my lights and stuff, so, um, I'm going to have to do some organizing, maybe get, um, a storage unit, and get some of my, maybe my, some of my furniture out, and put it in the storage unit that I don't need in my apartment, at least in my bedroom, and maybe rearrange it to where maybe, you know, it will be decent enough, or have some space to where I can set up my equipment again and film because there, I've been watching a lot of my old videos recently and I want to redo them because before I was using the window as lighting before I got my lighting set up. And unfortunately, if you don't get up at the ash crack at dawn, you don't get the good lighting because I face east. So, like when the sun rises and up until about maybe 7 something in the morning, I have really good lighting in my room. But unfortunately, I normally don't get up until about 8, 9 o'clock if I don't have to work. Sometimes it's 10, depending on how exhausted and how many hours I've been putting into work before I, before I actually get off for like a day off. So... So sometimes what I'm meaning to, I will sleep at least 10 to 12 hours just to recoup on what I lose. Because I get up like super early for work in the morning, like anywhere is between 4 to 5.30 in the morning. I have to be up depending on my shift I have to take. So that's kind of fun there. Let's see. If I can do that, I can get everything good because I do have a really good editing program. I'm just and actually just so in love with right now. I finally got the Final Cut Pro 10 and I, I'm super in love with it. It's super easy. I I can do way more with it without it lagging than I could when I was using Adobe Premiere Pro. When I come back from MechaCon, I will be doing a lot more stuff like I'm actually really thinking of doing a, like a subscription service but um, I don't know my friend suggested using patron or something whatever that is I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is I have to ask her but I've been actually trying to code um, pages on my website for doing something like that because I want to do like you know, a men's description box, and I want to do a women's, so that way, you know, you can pick what you want, but, um, I don't know, but it brings me to another point where I'm actually planning to incorporate, um, household products on my webpage for my business, and also, um, more men's products. I'm actually having a couple of more products added to my MechaCon list to try them out. And uh, for those of you who who did buy and enjoy and reordered my beard oil, I actually have like plenty of other things coming out that has to do with beards and also different variations of the beard oil. Um, it's still gonna work like I have it, but you just will not have all those essential oils together like it'll be a bit different like the um I'm trying to, I can't really figure out what what I want to say on that um I have recipes drawn up I have tested a couple of them thanks to my dad <laughs> I had to test him on his little mustache so he was my guinea pig more than willing because it was a free product so he was all for it he was like free okay so um I don't exactly I tried the base formula on him and it seemed the base formula seems to work so I just gotta work out what um type of like little essential oil fragrances I blends I want to use in them um I don't know 
a lot of people, I might have to change the sizes of the bottle and put like maybe a dropper because people were saying that the four ounce bottles were really big. And, you know, looking back, it kind of is because you don't really need a lot. I mean, just putting it on the root, so. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to change the size on that. But if you have beards or a mustache, don't worry. I'm doing beard washes, beard bombs, um, beard, um, I, yeah, I said beard bombs, didn't I? And also a little mustache wax, which is kind of like a, like, kind of like a bomb, but for, like, taming the mustaches and and whatnot. And also shaving cream for both sexes are, are coming out. And when I have, like, I don't know, I think I'm doing it into, like, the guys, I might do it in, like, a jar. Because it'd be easier for you to get out. And, um, of course, women is going to be on the pump. I don't know, like you knew that it was like a like the pump, like an airless pump. Um, I'm not sure the size. I have to see how far uh, my suppliers I can size I can get. I might just you know have a travel one, and then I go for like a medium and like a a large size. I don't know. I have to really dig with my suppliers and see if if they can offer a bigger size. If not, I might have to go look for another supplier for that. But, um, also pre and shave care. I think that's going to be one of the ones I have coming out for MechaCon. It's, um, a pre-shave or as it's an oil and a gel. So it's a pre and post shave care, which is really good because it's going to nurture the skin and, and, uh, prepare it for being shaved. And so, yeah, there's kind of a lot of things to look forward to, so. I'm just gonna go to bed now and I have to get up early again in the morning because I got the opening shift so I gotta be there at 5 so hope to post more videos soon guys so I'll see you at MechaCon and just stop by my booth and see all the goodies there so I'm just going to go now because otherwise I'm gonna keep rambling and no one wants to listen to me ramble anymore so Pardon me. So, night guys.